Melania leaves entire room in shock after what she did as soon as she met Putin. President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump arrived in Helsinki late Sunday night in preparation for his long-awaited summit meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. According to Reuters, President Trump appeared upbeat during a breakfast meeting with Finnish President Sauli Niinistö before the meeting with Putin in the Finnish capital, even tweeting his thanks to his hosts for their hospitality. Melania dazzled as she dressed to impress. She went gosh in proper in Finland after spending three days with the Queen in England and world leaders at the NATO summit just prior to that. The First Lady met with Finnish First Lady Jenny Hokio and whether intentionally or not, won hearts by matching Hokio's butterfly pattern dress with the butterfly belt of her own. The vibrant style, which appeared like a pop of sunshine of her feet, expertly complemented the 48-year-old escote style dress and its playful butterfly adornment. Wearing a $3,700 pale yellow Gucci outfit with a butterfly belt, Melania posted a photo of the two women on Instagram, thanking Hakio for her hospitality, stating, Enjoyed conversation W. The First Lady of Finland today, good conversation about issues facing our nations. Thank you to Jenny Hakio for hosting me. Hakio wore a short-sleeved dress in a butterfly print to the meeting and responded with a gracious and polite tweet in response thanking Melania and saying the pleasure was all mine. It is not known what the butterfly buddies discussed over breakfast but the insect habitat may have been one topic as Hakio was seen pointing towards the garden during her conversation with Melania. It seems to have been the correct choice to mirror the Finnish first lady as the UK's Telegraph had this to say of Melania. But for her latest official appearance, Melania seems to be sending the message of soft power instead. If her usual day wear wardrobe of khaki, cream, navy, and black suggests she means business, Today's pastel yellow Gucci dress code perhaps seeks to project a different image. Yellow is the color of optimism, in pastel form, it's youthful, fresh and friendly. And if that doesn't suggest that Melania is trying to soften her image, perhaps the butterfly clasp on her belt will. As the first ladies met separately over breakfast while their husbands held talks, the Finnish tabloid, El Talady attempted to create controversy by scolding Melania. The tabloid chose to post a front-page photo claiming Melania committed a serious breach of etiquette and proceeded in a vain attempt to take her to task for the crime of walking off of Air Force One in front of President Trump at the airport just after landing in Helsinki on Sunday night. Despite the attempts to stir controversy, Melania made a fashionable entrance stepping off of Air Force One in a jacket by Isodate and brown leather leggings by Ralph Lauren. This is just the latest in series of runway-inspired looks for America's classy first lady which is appropriate since Melania used to walk the runway as a high-fashion model. She has been captured wearing pieces by Burberry, Victoria Beckham, and Roland Murray throughout her travels across Europe on this trip. Just following this meeting with the Finnish president and first lady, President Trump, and Putin. Though the two leaders have met before, this summit will mark the first sit-down meeting between the two leaders since President Trump's inauguration. In an interview airing just the day prior, President Trump cautioned that he has low expectations going into the summit because no matter what he accomplishes, the media and President Trump's political opponents will always treat him as though it was not good enough. Just following Friday's latest round of suspiciously timed indictments against a dozen Russian military intelligence officials, Democratic lawmakers slammed President Trump for refusing to cancel the summit hosted by the Finnish between himself and Putin. Facing pressure from critics, allied countries, and even his own staff to take a tough line. President Trump did not speak critically of Moscow, instead choosing to take America to task and denounce the stupidity of his own country's policy, especially the decision to investigate election interference. He chose not to address any of the current issues that have contributed to bringing relations between the two powers to the lowest ebb since the Cold War at that time. He tweeted, President Obama thought that crooked Hillary was going to win the election, so when he was informed by the FBI about Russian meddling, he said it couldn't happen, was no big deal, and did nothing about it. When I won it became a big deal in the rigged witch hunt headed by Strzok. Then in a second tweet, President Trump added, Our relationship with Russia has never been worse thanks to many years of U.S. foolishness and stupidity and now, the rigged witch hunt. President Trump also tweeted out his gratitude and thanks to the Finnish people for their hospitality, stating simply, it was an honor to join you this morning. Thank you.